Hey, what's up, guys? This is Creative Creator here. So let's end our unfinished project, which is our Bluetooth control car. So with that being said, leave a like, subscribe to this channel, and let's jump into the video. In our last video, we have just connected our all wires to our Adreno and motor driver L298 and L298 and okay. So you all know that we have connected all the things but we have missed one thing that is our battery. So which is the main main power source. So we uh, in, in, in this day, we just connect our batteries and upload our codes for our Adreno and use a mobile app uh, which is Android app obviously. And control the car so it is very simple and in today I will show you the way so firstly I'm just taking some lead acid batteries you can also use li uh, lithium ion batteries because those are cheap and uh, it is available in everywhere so I am using lead acid batteries if you are making some drones then you would obviously use some lithium polymer or lithium ions batteries uh, I'm setting my multimeter to DC 20 volts and you can see the voltage output and rating which is about 4.44 volt nearly and other one is 4.41 volts separately so what we just do is to just uh, uh, we just we just series the batteries and connect to the motor driver and motor drivers uh, the MOSFET will give 5 volt output so which output we will be used in the Adreno's Adreno's input so we have just connected you can know that if you watched my previous video and then you can obviously know that uh, the Adreno's 5 volt is given from the you know, from the motor drivers motor drivers uh, MOSFET so it is very easy and simple and you can also give another power source from the 9 volt battery which is uh, given in the output so it is uh, it is uh, obviously but I am just using two batteries which I am which is my primary battery so it is the only thing that we are just using so and I also add a switch for connecting it on or off make it on or off you all know and I added some hot glue for connecting it and after that I have to just go to for the wiring portion so I have just uh, set it in a place and we have to connect some wires make it series so you can see I have just connected the positive terminal 1 battery to the negative terminal 1's battery it is the only thing and the negative terminal battery should be connected to the motor driver's negative or it means that ground and the positive terminal should be connected to the uh, to, uh, connected to the switch and the other terminal of the switch would be connected to the motor driver you all know okay it is a very easy thing you all know after that i will show you the diagram uh, of the circuit and you can systematics uh, how it is works after that you can see it is uh, it is uh, there is written 12 volts gnd and 6 volt uh, uh, i mean i think i mean 5 volts so I have to we have to connect the five uh, connect those two wires in the, the 12 volt section and you can also give the uh, the, uh, the motor driver which I'm just using can also handle th up to 35 volts and so you can also use 35 volts separately but uh, for that you just have to uh, dismiss the jumper beside the wires. So you can do it okay. So here is the there are my two wires. Here one is green and one is blue. So I'm just connected into a into my uh, motor driver and we just have to connect it through there. The green one is the negative. Sorry, the green one is the positive and the blue one is the negative. So I'm just connecting the green one to the V in. So it is basically the 5 volt again. Here you can see here is the V in port. So I'm just connecting V in here and the green one to the ground. Any 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 portion of the ground of the antenna board you can connect it everywhere. So it is the main thing and our circuit will be completed. Now here comes the our circuit diagram. So I'm just opening the Adreno board. You can see the lights are on and we just have to go to go through the codes. So we are, here we have the circuit diagram first and if we have a problem from circuit diagram, you can pause the video and watch the circuit diagram fully.
and now i am opening now i am opening my laptop for coding uh, coding giving it the code to the adreno firstly you know that when i am just firstly uh, going to upload the code it says the code is not in, uh, code is not going to be installed then i search on youtube how to upload the code then i got a solution that how if we open all the words and then upload the codes then it will work and i also uh, i and i have also dismissed my uh, antivirus real time scanning for it also so you can also do it for uh, for better performance uh, so i have i have mcafi antivirus so i'm just offering the mcafi antivirus and then i'm just going to my adreno and then i will opening so you can see here i am just uh, giving to turn off to 15 minutes and after that i am opening adreno you know r3 the, the and also the codes i'm yes uh, i'm just uploading to adreno is in the description box below and check it out if you have any problem with the adreno codes and anything about this video and the previous video then you can comment me below and i will try to give you the answers of the codes so it is the main thing and then go to the play store and then search for adreno bluetooth card and then you can see the first option is our our app so just have to open the app which is basically 3 mbs very low mb and it, this is this app is very interesting and i love it very much let me just open the, the switch on the switch after running the switch you can see the bluetooth modules led is blinking very fast and when we open the app with pairing by uh, after pairing then you can see the bluetooth modules led will become slow in um, became slow blinking okay so here you can see my ac05 which is my bluetooth module and you can also ac04 and ac06 as well because ac05 is a great and usually the password is written you can see 0000 or 1234 and i know that my wi-fi password is my my bluetooth modules password is 1234 so i'm just giving 1234 and then giving an enter and then you can see after that it is being paired and then here you can see connected after that you just have to open the app which is necessary for this which i've just installed and just after opening it you can see the the interface is very good and after that you have to go to the settings button which is over there and just click on it and click on the connect to card and then here you will see the ac05 then you can see after when it, the button will be green then the then the, it will be slow the bluetooth modules led blink will be in slow so it is the only thing when you, you will be understand that your bluetooth module is connected with your adreno here you can see the main things we can do with the app you can press the app buttons for moving the car up and down and right and left and there are also many gestures controls which is accelerometer control which is my favorite you can accelerate your car by tilting your phones phone right left or upwards or downwards so it is the main thing which i have liked from from this app it is also you can control from the from the northeast northwest and also many 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 things and also the other thing which you can do with the app because we have used the pwm from pwm pins so pulse wise modulation we have used pulse modulation we can use the bet, um, the car's speed control so we just can control our car speed by by turning it on or off so it is the main thing and you can do it as well after that you can see it is very essential now see the clips and enjoy So guys that's all about this video if you have any questions then comment me below i hope you have a great day thanks so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video